Now, let's go back to adding fractions, right? Let's say you have 1 over 2 plus 1 over 3. Let's do a visual of this, right? If you're doing a visual of this, simplify yes, simplify yes. If you're doing a visual of this, a fraction is part of a whole. So 1 over 2 means take an object, a whole object you have, and break it up into two pieces, right? So we're breaking up this into two pieces, and you're taking one of the pieces. So one out of two, right? That's one out of two. For this one, plus, take a whole thing, right? And break it up into three pieces, and you're taking one out of three, right? Here's one out of three. Now, we want to add one over two plus one over three, right? What is this? We will. We'll do it. Simplest form of this, right? So if you're going to add this plus this, we need to, like, we can't do it right now because they're not broken into compatible parts, right? So what we need to do is take each one of these holes and break them into equal parts and see what one out of that looks like, right? So the common denominator or the lowest common multiple for two and three is six. So what we can break a whole thing into when we're dealing with 1 over 2 and 1 over 3 is to break that whole thing into 6 parts because both 2 and 3 go into 6, right? 5 out of 6, perfect, right? But here's the visual. So we're going to take this whole thing and break it into 6 pieces, right? And 1 out of 2 means a half, means we're taking 3 out of six, right? So this becomes three over six plus this guy we're gonna break into six pieces. So we're gonna go this, 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 and we're taking this many, which is two. So this becomes plus two out of six and three over six plus two out of six because they have the same number of pieces now we can just add them up just add them one two three four five five pieces five over six right good math teacher <laughs> this guy is good math teacher right five out of six okay now how do you do how do you do this just algebraically without the visuals because you're not going to go through visuals all the time right what you do you find the lowest common multiple you say that's six and you ask yourself what did you multiply two by to give you six you multiply two by three so you multiply the top by three as well so you multiply the bottom by three and you multiply the top by three and by the way do you know why you can do this because you can multiply any number by one without changing its value and three over three is one right so you're not changing the value of one out of two you're making it look different right you just that's all you're doing first thing i've understood thus far in time. Uh, trust me that look mathematics it's there's only five axioms everything else is built on that right so what happens is two times three is six which is what we had one times three is three plus what do you multiply three by to give you six you multiply three by two, right? But you can't just multiply the bottom by two. You gotta multiply the top by two because you don't wanna change the value, the weight of one over three. You just wanna make it look different. So we're gonna multiply the top by two and the bottom by two, right? Because two over two is a one. We're just multiplying it by one. So one times two is two. Three times two is six. Six, cool. They have the same number of, they broken the same size pieces. Now you just add them up, you get 5 over 6. That's adding fraction. 